Woohoo! Hey there, Angie M. I am just popping on to make a quick video. I am using my Snow Leopard Ollie clip, which somehow I managed to land on the Snow Leopard appreciation chapters of Instagram. And let me tell you, I love a Snow Leopard. I love a kitty. I am, I am one of those women who would be a meme of white women trying to sort of Blah, 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 trying to domesticate danger kitties because I would I, I would try to snuggle a snow leopard let's just be honest we do love I feed it some treats yeah yeah I I'm a I'm a cat person I love cats and what's fun about leopards and snow leopards and jaguars is they remind me of a house cat who passed not too long ago and she was a large cat trapped in a little cat's body. So when I happened on that and started seeing it, I got that. And I also grabbed my Akuja Vanderspeck senior size 30 millimeter rings to match with it because it just hit me that this would match so delightfully. And I did pull this off of the Poshmark. The, I've had a lot of interest in terms of likes in a number of my planners, likes and people sharing, but not really interest in actually, you know, purchasing or, or discussing, you know, different prices. So I just, I pulled some of that stuff down mainly because I almost feel like some of what was left, not all, but some are actually things that I'm not sure I even wanted to part with, or if I did part with, I would feel, you know, pangs of, of unhappiness. So I did, did just switch out the cover. No, it's not March yet, so I don't have the March dailies in here. I still have the February stuff, but I'll just show you what I've got going on in here before we bounce on to talking about what is going to happen with my happy planner. And I think this is, I, I don't remember, is it like the standard size, the general size, the regular size? I, I don't know, <laughs> I make my own brain hurt. So this is kind of what it looks like. I'm also wearing green today and my nails are painted with some of the latest from Hollow Taco, which also, happens to match very nicely and I like the pen and it's just, it's a whole mood. It's a whole mood today. So I'm into to my weeks. Car payments due tomorrow and I already know that's set to go. So that is good. It's next week. Stuff going on today. Not really anything of note other than that, except for this little guy that, that I worked on earlier for something completely unrelated, but just trying to trying to get to a why of whys for myself. So I don't like standing still. Progression, movement, going forward, I need to keep reaching. To leave things better, to be better, to grow and learn, to be challenged, to find creative solutions, to inspire others, to be more. To be soft, to be gentle, to give space, to be at peace. Nowhere is to be perfect or be the best because those aren't enough. The beauty in this is I get to decide who I am, where I'm going, what really matters. I get to decide, I decide. I don't know, it just, it came to me, it came to me. I was, I was listening to some music and it just, it hit me that the thing isn't the thing, so to speak. Like what I want isn't what I want, right? What I want, are certain feelings behind things. So again, the thing isn't the thing. And when you get really clear with yourself about what it is you actually want, it helps it helps pull out some of the emotionality that's attached to, to it, right? Because, you know, I, I at least, I, I like to think I come from a generation, we elder millennials of, you go to college in order to get a job where you work your way up and eventually you make a good living and you have the things, right? The American dream things. The problem is it's not how it works. And for so, for so many of us, for so many younger Gen Xers and for so many millennials, that is not how it works. And something that, that I think gets lost in the mix though is the idea of working your way up. Like I've been doing what I do for a long time now. And I, I like to think I know some things. There's a lot more I don't know, but I do know some things. And for me, it's really strange because in my head lives the 20 year old I used to be, right? Lives the person who 
always used to be the youngest in the room, the most junior, the least knowledgeable, the least experienced. And that's not who I am anymore. And standing in that is a very awkward thing. And I, I tend to be super aggressive. I tend to know my mind and how I feel about things. But I also struggle to temper, to temper that with walking the fine line between what is outright arrogance and what is going to come across in a very off-putting manner versus what's standing up for yourself. I'm also not very comfortable you know, putting myself up on that pedestal. And it's not so much humility. It's not that I'm a humble person. And I, I've been thinking about this. It has more to do with the fact that I have been socialized that you don't do those things, especially as a woman. You don't you don't stand up and pound on the table and say, this is what I bring. That's something men do and that's okay for men to do. But as a woman, you have to do it in a much more delicate way. You have to be, you have to be a way that I am just not, I'm not built like that. And I'm trying to work through it <laughs> because I do want to keep progressing in all things, including sitting here and talking to you guys. And I realize that sometimes when I go back and listen to videos, the videos that stand out to me and, and have meetings or our videos where I'm very much like this and I'm sharing things like this because it's the authentic voice versus me trying to be something I think I'm supposed to be. And the planner community is, you know, unfortunately it's not immune from trying to be something you're not, right? You have the hyper creatives who are doing, you know, gorgeous, stunning artwork in a lot of settings, including the Bujo world. And then you've got the super minimalists whose stuff aesthetically looks so pleasing. Like you want to see it because it's just so beautiful and the handwriting's beautiful and the, you know, the stickers they choose are so, seem so perfectly placed and well balanced. And then, you know, here's me somewhere in the middle ground being messy. I am messy, I'm messy, my life is messy. My life is chaotic, my brain is chaotic and messy. Right? I move fast, I talk fast, I do things fast. And I don't want to fall into the trap of trying to be something that I'm not or put on an affectation that I'm not. So that is, that's just, just, just a little moment of things in, in that vein of not trying to be something I'm not. Here is this guy, which makes me really sad because I absolutely love how this looks. I am never going to use this. We're never, go we're, we're never going to use this. Can we just... Can we just agree that for me, personally, like this is fine, this is fine. The beginning pages I did move to the back because I hadn't used and wasn't planning on using for how I was gonna use this for meal planning. So like this, this is all fine, this is good. I actually really love the size of these boxes. Like can we can we just give a shout out to the size calendar? Like this is, this is beautiful, this is stunning, I love it. All right, this makes my brain hurt. I watch a lot of a lot of YouTubers and a lot of Instagrammers who absolutely like Happy Planner is their thing. They rock these layouts. They make them look beautiful. It is too much work for me and it overwhelms me just thinking about it. Overwhelms me just thinking about it, right? So when I looked at meal planning, you know, breakfast, lunch, and dinner, this actually lends itself to very nicely. I don't plan meals that way because the shopping me, the figuring out the menu me, is a very different me from the me cooking at the end of the day. They're not the same me's. They're, they're, they're literally like the videoing me versus the editing me who are not the same person. I swear they're literally completely different people who just happen to live in my head. So this is not, this is just not a workable idea because I know what would happen because it's already happened when I've tried to meal plan in my ASICs or in other places is I will meal plan and then I will completely lose it right? Like you could have your whole list and I would do all of that. I would put all of that time and energy into it. I'd get to Monday. Maybe it'd work out. What would really happen is I would get to Sunday, right? I would get to grocery shopping day would be great. It would be fine. I might be able to carry it through on Monday. By Tuesday, something inevitably would happen and things would derail. Wednesday, I would be exhausted and it would just be a train wreck and then it would feel like a complete failure, right? because now you're trying to meal plan to cost control and all kinds of other things and it's not working. So we are not going to labor. Turn away now. Just, just turn away now if you're a happy planner, all right? Run, run fast, 
run far because you're going to see something that's going to hurt. This is going to be physically painful for you. So just run, run away if you're that person. I... <laughs> not going to use that. So anything like this that I can use or cut down to use in one of my other planners, I am keeping. <clears throat> anything I can tell you I will not use, I am waving bye-bye to. And I've already kind of done this with what's not used in this planner. There's a part of me that's kind of like, look, let's, let's keep, keep the month. No. No, just no. Knock it off. You have a half letter. You don't need them. I don't need to keep up with all these planners. I keep trying to make pocket work. It's like trying to make fetch happen. You know, I really don't like the Mean Girls movie, but I reference it an awful lot for somebody who doesn't like it. And the reason for that is, is because it makes an accurate, it is an accurate impression of things for a lot of us is we try to make a lot of things happen in our lives that are just, they're never gonna happen because they're not for us. And this is not for me. This was never going to be for me. This was an impulse of me thinking I was gonna get my life together. I'm not getting my life, but let's be honest. My life is never gonna to be together. My ducks are never gonna be in a row. And I'm okay with that because I do well in chaos. I know what some people say is, oh, don't say that, it brings more chaos. No, it's true. And I need to start being realistic about where I am in my life. That I don't plan to be entirely organized or to have everything together. That's not why I plan. I plan because I enjoy it. I plan because it makes space in my packed brain. I plan because if I didn't plan, I would forget things. I forget things routinely. I forget important things. I forget birthdays. I forget anniversaries. I forget, <laughs> sometimes I forget what my daughter's birth date is. Yeah, that's, that's fun when you're, you know, trying to schedule doctor's appointments and your brain skips on that. I know it. I can't always recall it in the moment, you know, but I, I forget my own phone number, all right? I just, again, this is what it's like about being honest about things. I plan because if I didn't plan and put a place, have a place where I put the things, I would forget the things. I would forget the things exist. You know what? And I'm okay with that. I am at a point in my life where it is what it is on that front. I am going to forget things. I'm going to continue to forget things. And that is why I'm going to continue to plan. And I am going to continue to plan things in a way that makes sense for my brain like this. This makes sense for my brain. It makes sense to have a place where I'm like, these are the things I want to work on. And then I go back and look at them and I'm like, did I actually work on them? Did they actually add value to my life? No, no. I tried this. It does not work for me. 25 minute increments on things destroys my, destroys my hyper focus that I actually need to get things done. Doesn't work for me. All right, build in workouts. Well, that didn't go so well for reasons that most of January with everybody sick. All right, lean into resistance, tracking 2.0. I feel like we're, I feel like we're actually uh, taking that into February and using what I already have. I try the whole no buy thing, guys. I, again, fetch is just not gonna happen. And I, we'll, we'll talk about this in the, in the, in the February thing. We'll talk about when I, when I'm actually marches in here, but like it was so good. I did so good. And then I freaked out. I freaked out, which is what happens when I try to do things like this. And I know it's what happens. And yet I still keep trying to do it because there are people who do it and it's so great and it's so wonderful and it's so awesome. And when I do it, it really gets my life in order. And then I try to do it and the wheels fall off. Well, there are reasons the wheels fall off and it has to do with how my brain functions. And I need to stop trying to force myself to do things in a way that function really well for other people because it doesn't mean it's gonna function really well for me. And I'm a big girl, I'm old enough to, to recognize that it's not gonna work really well for me. Things like this work really well for me. Things like this do not work well for me. I tried pre-planning, pre you know, I tried pre-planning 
2022 as well. It did not work. It was a train wreck. Why did I do this? Because there's a version of me that thinks, man, I really need an ironed out schedule. I don't work that way. I film what I want, when I want, how I want. I'm okay with the tracker so far. I'm okay with the weight log. I am tempted to weigh myself every day, but I'm gonna try to keep it to like once a week. Maybe. Just so that I can, you know, keep my mind on it. I was going back through old photos though, and I can tell you 2020 version of me and 2023 version of me are not the same version of me. 2020 version of me was definitely a fitter version of me. Working from home has not been my friend because I have not, I have not tackled some of the emotional stuff that has gotten in the way of the physical stuff. And I see it in pictures, which in versions of me past would have sent me into a complete spiral and I am trying very hard not to spiral. So this works. I actually really, I actually really, really like this, except when I cross things out, it drives me up the wall, but that's okay. That, that's, that's okay. I could solve it by just like removing the, removing the boxes in the viewer so I could just wipe that out and have it be less distracting, but that's okay. It's all right. Just because this is like the Cliff's Note version of of what's going on. I like being able to pull that off, but I also love my dailies. I love my dailies when they're blank. I love my dailies when they're crammed full of me putting down just the most inane things or deco-y things. All of this is too much deco and I probably should not try to do coordinated months because I do get bored with it eventually. Like it's beautiful and I love it, but I'm bored with it and I kind of want to do other things, but it's already there. So I kind of can't. Yeah, that that's a thing too. That is a thing. But this is me wrapping this up with, we gotta quit trying to shove ourselves into boxes that are for other people, that are meant for other people. Just because it works for someone else doesn't mean it's gonna work for you. Just because it works for me doesn't mean it's gonna work for you. If your brain isn't a chaotic pit, I wouldn't recommend trying to do what I do or jumping around or changing things as much as I do because you're just gonna drive yourself crazy. I'm driving myself crazy. You don't want to come with me. You, you just, you don't. It's, it's not a fun ride. It's not a fun ride for anybody. So on that note, I am going to leave you all with this because progress over perfection. And sometimes there isn't going to be progress. Sometimes it's just going to be a period of deep reflection. Hopefully you're not flogging yourself over it because in those times of chaos or when things get out of control, those are the times when I find that I learn the most about myself and how I function. And what I need is not necessarily restriction. What I need are some parameters, not a framework, not a here's exactly what you need to do and how to do it because that again would make me crazy. But uh, here is what you're trying to achieve and we're not gonna go deprivation. We're gonna go bite size, right? We're gonna go bite size. Not the whole meal, not the entire buffet, small bites. So that it doesn't feel like we're depriving ourselves so that we don't have a reflexive, oh my God, reaction that spirals out of control. All right, so that is what I think I learned in February. Next time you see my planner, we'll be, we'll have the dailies for March in there and we'll be moving into March, moving into some more tracking stuff. Again, I like having these videos as a record of things that didn't work as well because I can kind of go back and look at them and be like, oh yeah, no, 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 I tried that, it didn't work. And some of you are gonna be like, well, that's some hypocrisy, pocket gate. I'm just gonna call it pocket gate from now on. And I'll be like, yeah, I know, but you see, I have this weird love for pocket, even though it doesn't work for me, that I'm probably never going to shake. And I'm gonna make that okay by not just simply chucking everything of that size and being like, I'm not, I'm not gonna use it because I am gonna wanna go back to it and I'm not going to hinder myself. So what we're not gonna do is we're not gonna stand in our own way. We're not gonna self-destruct. 
we're going to keep learning and evolving and growing and changing. The core of us doesn't change. I'm just gonna say that though, and that is why I say we have to do that reflecting and that learning and growing because the core of us doesn't change. And if you try to make the core of you change, it is not going to end well. And that is usually how I end up in the situations I end up in, is I keep trying to change who I am underneath it all. And I'm never going to be someone else. I'm always going to be me. So I've got to figure out how to make things work within the construct of me that doesn't challenge the core of who I am. Changing habits isn't going to challenge the core of who you are, right? There are places where we have tremendous habits and focus and do things wonderfully. You know, changing certain behaviors or certain responses to things does not change the core of who we are. What we should be doing is bringing those things into alignment with the core of who we are because hopefully what we're doing when we do that is cutting down on the resistance that happens when we try to be someone we're not. That, that cognitive dissonance, that resistance that forms when we do that is what blows everything out of the water. So we're not going to do that. We're going to honor ourselves. All right. So enough of that. Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. I feel like that went way, way in a direction I wasn't anticipating. So I'm just going to show you guys a little bit of side view. I know we all, we all, we all like the side views. All right. So here's my chunky side views. And I'm going to catch y'all in the next one. Stay safe out there. And as always, much love to you and yours.